to Undertale, the game that I used to be playing just for the views, but now realize that it's very good. I'm fighting the masked spaghetti marauder himself, Papyrus. Act. Flirt. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later! After I... I don't know what just happened, I skipped it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date! So you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack!
Fuck. friends, man. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Nothing can enter through it, but nothing can enter it. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And those monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. The exit you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He's. well. He's a big fuzzy pushover! Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that day. <laughs> whoa, 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 where are you going there? I think he's getting a bit too excited. He's getting a bit wibbly wobbly there. I'm gonna have that date. This man deserves a date. How you doing, buddy? So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I'll have to spend a lot of time. Grillbees? Grillbees? Grill oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh boy. Is your house? 
my house. Yep. Alright. Cool. Ooh, this way. Ooh, there's fire in there. <laughs> this is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Mm. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. Twenty gold. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock! <laughs> Don't put it back down, move it! <laughs> okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! <laughs> quantum physics joke because the books will keep getting smaller and smaller until it reaches the subatomic level and then it'll enter the realms of quantum physics and then quantum stuff will apply and it's a joke book so it's a quantum physics <laughs> I get it wow being a good host is a real workout is that because I made him run a classic image it always reminds me of what's important to happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Yes. Negative two followers, man. Real successful. Of course. Fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That's, that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. And the next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? No, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. 
I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Actually, you're not, you're not that far from the truth. Yeah, ha, ha. You're not that far from the truth, buddy. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Santa! Yeah, that's right. Santa! Yes! Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to stop the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. We've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepare without several letters from my name. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four letters, man. So that's a lot. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for the dating HUD. I feel so informed! Reel it in! Population egg! It's Wednesday! It actually is Wednesday when I'm recording this. I think we're ready for step two! Ask them up. Ahem! Human! I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you! Yes. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! A second? Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? <gasps> no! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> Um, resistance is futile. Nyeh! Nyeh! Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Bam! Yeah! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! All your base are belong to us. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. So my shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Holding my hands won't tell you the answer. No! I must resist. There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. I see, I see. But I caress my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved. My secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. <gasps> Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Finely aged in an oaken cask. And cooked by me, Nesta Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite. Facial reflexively scrunch. 
is, uh, the taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! Dude, human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. I want you to be happy too. Me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. If I don't like you, then... No! But I pressed enter so many times! I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you, then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me, but alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> in the closet again sure clothes are hung up nearly inside all right well i think that i'm gonna leave this one off here i just recorded like seven episodes or something like that so i'm going to finish up editing all these before i record any more uh don't turn that dial like comment subscribe and stuff if you don't papyrus will be embarrassed by your actions. See you next time.